people are trying. So, so. You hear Southeast crying is this day before Thanksgiving, November 27th, 2013. <laughs> I am, I was back there. I you know, I talk about uh, are you uh, interviewing? Ourselves, even. Yeah. And current issues in the news, and concerns in the nation. And Ross introduced this by talking to Mark, when you were a fan of the show. He brought up Zen Buddhism. And I immediately thought of being pulled by uh, the Alright, I'll see you later, Nick. Let me know about that. Quote by Deepak Chopra. This moment is as it should be. Yeah. And I thought it that is. was a good uh, That's what Zen teaches. Everything was happening the way it should be. I just been saying a lot more peace is accepting it as it is. The only choice you really have in life is to fight against things the way they are. But it doesn't change anything. It just makes you suffer. So if you want to accept it more and more, everything's like that. That's all you can really do is just accept it. Practice the stuff you The transcendentalist practice what is known as passive resistance. That's gone now, too. Yeah. So they have resistance to the oppression of the authority. And, yeah. And how did they survive that? They did something. I mean, there was some throw with their poetry. Which, they wrote the their poetry and their stories, their essays. Yeah. But they didn't make statements against the government. And they said, well, I remember my first most famous poem is the title is escaping me now. About dependence on the self. Because I got my phone in one of my Christmas cards, and has the stars retained around the tree in time we spoke. Emerson's self reliance poems about being self reliant. Oh, uh, Walden, you mean Thoreau? This is Emerson, this is Robert Walden Emerson. I, I, I don't, I'm not well read in his poems, I've never really read any of the material. I've got a book of Emerson, but I've never read it. Yeah, I just, I just think, uh, I went on this meditation retreat for a week, you know, and the theme was gratitude. We did a lot of meditation on gratitude, and I realized how good all of us have it. We had to med meditate on the smallest things in the world, like our food, a piece of rice, and thinking about how many hands brought that piece of rice to the foot, like how many thousands of people, thousands of people, everything we do, everything we're eating, everything. The heat in here, the lights, the fact that we have clothes on. We take it for granted. We take it all for granted. Even the poorest among us. I mean, even there was so many times I was starving and I was like, really in the conditions. I didn't have gratitude. I was just like, I was like, oh, everything sucks. Everyone sucks. Well, and I, now I like realize, like, really, I mean, just the fact of being alive is <laughs> a huge accomplishment. The fact that I actually have clothes that are relatively free. The fact of being alive for like four years. Breathing. I'm so over 60, so I've got about 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, sitting so with the guy in the meditation retreat, he said, uh, he had a Yeah, I'm sorry. They're doing it, and oh, they're just doing right. it to do it, which is a very yeah. kind of Zen thing, just to do it. The famous line of Stop thinking song. about it, just do it. You yeah. don't know what you got till it's gone. Exactly. And they look like they're really enjoying life. They may not have as much money as these people, but they're really enjoying life. You know? um, so, you know, I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, wake up, I think I'm going to discover something new. So I always wake up, I want to learn something new that I haven't learned before. I always have that attitude to go research something I've never, research something I've never read. So, you're never too old to learn. Or don't. Do it. Everything is perfect, I think. Just do whatever you need to do. Everything is perfect. Follow the falls on the play. All you can, I mean, all you can do is just face life like really one breath at a time. There's always somebody out there who's got it worse off than what but not to say it's not perfect, it's also for a moment. Is that true? We could always improve. I don't know. So I'm just trying to follow the, the Zen way. It just seems to be like, it makes me no stress at all. I just follow one thing and the next. I don't think about the future. I don't think about the past. When it comes, I just kind of drop it. I don't know. I really feel it's a much more relaxing way to live instead of like, what's happening? What's happening? I just try to live moment to moment. I don't know what's going to happen. I might die tomorrow morning. I don't know. If I do, that's what can I do? I think it's an age of information. I have thousands of opinions that all need to be worked on. Well, I just le letting them go more and more. I just don't know. Like a procrastinator. It's not like, it's like, it's, I need to add more stress. I feel that they need to be dealt with. But when I used to have a lot more stress, they try to force things to be dealt with all the time. I try to really some things that's kind of odd. Because it's kind of on a schedule. You know, it's kind of, we interfere a lot in life. We go, oh, it's got to be like this or like that. And, do that, it just, a lot of things make it worse, more painful. I mean, there's too much information. We have access to so much information that overwhelms us. But in the end, like, we all kind of, <laughs> most of us get by somehow in life. I don't know. We all figure it out one way or another. There's spirit. Hey. I recognize it without my glasses on. <laughs> That's good. Like, you're probably not going to start with that. That's how you do it. Time right. will unfold, and, you know, this drama with your. Yes, your girlfriend and your daughter will just play out and slowly fade away. Yeah. It'll just, I don't know. I understand that. Yeah. Oh, you're, like, you're already doing all that you can do with it. I'm sorry. You're, you're already doing all that you can do. You can't do anything else. And it hurts a lot, I'm sure, and it's very painful. But yeah, it's like you. It's just a process of kind of, I think, learning.